Hey guys, we're about to make homemade cauliflower thins bigger than the ones you get at Trader Joe's. Let's go. This is a pleasant surprise. Two eggs or just egg replacement if you're plant-based. Then cauliflower rice, I'm using a pouch, and then your cheese and your seasoning. I'm using mozzarella cheese as well as herb de Provence and smoky garlic seasoning. I'm also using nutritional yeast as well, baking powder, and here we go. Heat up your cauliflower rice in the microwave, 60 seconds. Go ahead and drain that. There's always a little bit more water than normal. And while that's draining, take your two eggs or your just egg replacement, get it in a bowl from here let's zhuzh it up let's go ahead and add the nooch the herb de provence smoky garlic baking powder a pinch of salt to activate everything and stir it around then press the excess of the water out of the cauliflower rice put that into your egg mixture or just egg replacement mixture and stir it about Add the rest of the nutritional yeast and keep stirring. I'm also going to add a little psyllium husk for some extra added fiber. Set aside one ounce of mozzarella cheese. Now, next up, let's cook it. You can use a traditional pan or I like to use my dash griddle maker. I take my cauliflower and egg mixture and I put half of it in my dash griddle maker and then let that cook. Mine took about eight minutes. Flip it on the other side so that it can get crispy on both sides. And then once that's done and it feels nice and firm, go ahead and set that aside on a plate. Get the remainder of your mixture in your dash griddle maker or in your pan. Do the same thing. Make sure it's nice and crisp. This one, do not remove. Once it's done, add your mozzarella cheese, get your other patty on top, close your griddle maker or cover your pan and let that cheese melt. That is it. Give it a few moments to cool for a second, then cut in half, and it's going to feel like a sandwich made out of cauliflower thins that are homemade, as well as a small amount of mozzarella cheese. This is perfect for my bright line eating journey over 80 pounds down and maintained. Right, so I just made this beautiful lunch, and then I'm like, oh snap, I gotta go. Taking it on the road with my banana. Let's go.